you know, from singles to families and even businesses, everyone is moving to Texas. The economy is great, the cost of living is low, and we have some of the friendliest people in the country. Not to mention the weather is warm and don't get me started with the food. When they say everything is bigger in Texas, it's not an understatement. You know, with that being said, Texas isn't for everyone. There may be some things that you might be surprised to learn about, and if you watch to the end of this video, I'm going to share some of the feedback I've received from my clients and tell you what to avoid if you're making a move to the Lone Star. You know, on this channel, we cover everything about living, eating, and sleeping here in the Dallas Metroplex. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'd be happy to make it a smooth move down to the Lone Star State. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the eight reasons you may not wanna call Texas home. Now, Texas is very flat. You know, the landscape is really kind of boring. There's not much to look at. The comparison to places like LA, San Diego, or even Miami, you know, Texas just doesn't have that vibe you feel when you go to some of those coastal cities. Yeah, we all know you don't have the beach and the palm trees, but I feel still like there's some cities they just have that, you know, certain energy and vibe about them. Texas is just flat. If you enjoy outdoors, you like going to the mountains, you like, you know, skiing or love breathtaking views, Texas really isn't going to offer that unless you're on the, you know, hill country. And even still, that's pushing it at best. You know, one of the reasons you might not want to move to Texas is going to be because of the landscape. Now, this next one might not even be a big deal to some, however, depending on where you're coming from, it might be a little bit of a culture shock, and that's going to be all of the Western attire. Pretty much on a daily basis, you'll see people wearing cowboy hats, giant belt buckles, and massive cowboy boots. And let me tell you, the cowboy boots are not cheap here at all. We're talking about snakeskin to ostrich to alligator boots. These boots can be upward of $1,000, and it's just a way of life here in Texas. They really embrace the Western culture, so depending on where you're from, it might be a little bit of a shock for you. Listen, everything is bigger in Texas and that includes the people. I'm gonna always keep it 100. I hate to say it, but I believe in being transparent as always. And you know, Texas has an issue with obesity. As of 2018, the obesity rate for children from 10 to 17 is about 16%. In 2019, nearly 35% of all Texans were considered obese, which is among the highest rates in the United States. And among you know high school students, these numbers have increased significantly over the years. Among all US state, Texas ranks fifth when it comes to obesity rates among high school students. And it's something that continues to progress and something that you know we ourselves really need to address. All right, now let's go ahead and get this out of the way right now. If you're not a fan of guns, you probably need to turn around right now. Because in Texas, most people have their guns and they're gonna wear them around too. So you might as well get used to seeing people with handguns, shotguns, and rifles. I actually have a client right now that is looking for acreage right outside of Dallas. And one of his main criteria was he wanted to have a gun range on his land. And of course, because he, you know, he hired the very best team in the state of Texas, we found several options for him to choose from. Hopefully we're gonna get something under contract here in the next couple of days, but you'll also find that open carry is quite common here, especially in the rural areas. You know, the people here are fiercely independent and really appreciate hunting and everything the Second Amendment represents. So if the presence of guns, you know, makes you feel a bit uncomfortable, then Texas is definitely not for you. So another reason you might not want to move to Texas is the weather. You know, during the summer it gets extremely hot and humid. So if you're not a fan of the heat, it might not be an ideal environment for you to come down to Texas. I've lived in very warm climates most of my life and I can assure you, but it's still something that you really have to get used to when you touch down to Texas. In addition to that, if you're into winter sports and you like the snow, you know, ski, snowboarding, and you know, hiking in the mountains like that, uh, Texas is definitely not gonna offer that at all. So if you're extremely hot natured or you just don't like the sun, Texas is not going to be the ideal location for you. Hey, if you made it this far and you feel like you've gotten any value at all, would it be a crazy idea for me to ask you to go ahead and like the video? You know, it helps tell the algorithm more people need to see this content and it would really help us out on our mission to bring the best content about living here in Dallas. Also, if you're wanting info about, you know, some of the best properties in the Metroplex on or off the market, then we just launched our mobile app. I'll link it down below in the description, but now let's get back to the video. 
Now moving on to the next reason, and that's going to be the aggressive drivers. So if you're not ready for the speeding and people to cut you off, then you might just want to catch an Uber because a lot of people in Texas, mainly Houston, Dallas, and Austin are very aggressive on the roads. You know, the top speed limit I've seen on the highway here is about 85 miles an hour. And I assure you, if you're only driving 85, you're going to get past like you were doing 35. You know, here in Dallas, if you miss a turn, it might be miles before you see another exit. So that is just something to think about before you move down to the Lone Star State. You know, if you're not the type of person that's in a hurry and you're not an aggressive driver, it may be something you'll have to adapt to. Another significant disadvantage of living in the Lone Star State is the health care. You know, if you live in a rural area, you might have to drive 50 miles just to reach your closest provider. So depending where you live, you know, that could be an issue. Obviously, if you live in a big metro area like San Antonio, Austin, DFW, or Houston, you know, you won't have that issue. However, if you're planning on moving out in the country, or as I like to call it, the sticks, it could be an issue. You know, I have a few clients that move to West Texas or East Texas and live far from the city. And God forbid if they ever get sick and there's some health concern, it's going to be a long drive to get emergency help. So definitely take that into consideration. So even worse than the weather is the fact that Texas has higher than average property taxes. Look, as I always say, because we don't have a state income tax, they had to find a way to make up for some of the lost tax dollars, and they do so by adding it to your property tax bill. You know, property taxes usually run from two to 3% of your home's assessed value. So for example, let's say you have a 2.5% tax rate and your house was appraised at 500K. Your yearly tax bill would be about $12,500. That's about $1,042 on top of your principal and interest, not to mention your insurance, so this can get costly quick. Look, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Texas is massive. You know, you can drive from one end of the state to the other and it's like at least a 10 to 12 hour drive. And let's say you're in the city and you know, you're trying to get from Dallas to Fort Worth or one side of Houston to the other, you're probably looking at easily over an hour drive. So when they say everything is bigger in Texas, that is absolutely a fact. But just depending on how you look at it, you know, that can be a massive con if you're trying to get around and have to drive for work. It also doesn't help that, you know, since we're growing so fast, traffic is horrible. Now that's just something that comes with growth. A lot of construction, millions of cars, you know, cars all over over the highways and as I covered earlier there's a lot of aggressive drivers as well with a state that is so massive it could be a good or bad thing just depending on how you look at it so if you've been trying to figure out which city you might move to Dallas Houston San Antonio or some of the surrounding areas I did a video right here about the pros and cons of Dallas Texas if you want to check that out and as always guys if you're thinking about moving in nine days or 90 days just give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email and we'd be happy to make it a smooth move and as always I can't wait to see you around town